Hello, everyone. This is Denise Hansard, your life architect, and welcome to What's Next. There are many times in our lives when we have that moment, whether we're 35 or 65, where the question comes up of what's next. It can be a very curious question of saying, well, I've done all of that, so what's next now? And what I find is that for a lot of women, the what's next question has a little bit of a little fear. And that's what this program is going to be about. Speaking with women on what's next in their life, helping them to view it from a different perspective, and helping you to see that if someone else can do it, so can you. Here's to your what's next. Hello, everyone. This is Denise Hansard, your life architect, and we're back. I decided to go ahead and do some more videos with Gigi Veret of Very Smart Ideas, and we're going to continue the conversation. In this episode, what we're going to talk about is the energy of the universe. And so we were just discussing it, Gigi, but I'd love your thoughts on that. What has happened with you? So it has been a uh, push-pull kind of situation. I know I mentioned earlier that it was more of a pull, more of really literally an attraction, something saying, you have to do this. You must do this. There are other things in the past that I've done or invented, and I just sort of let them kind of float by me, and I didn't grab on. And this, I decided I've got to do this. And I wanted to share my ideas with people because if they help me, I know factually they'll help others. And um, I think the most important part about very smart ideas, I mean, I have a successful <clears throat> portfolio that I manage with my clients and financial planning during the day. That's my day job. But I think what's compelled me to move on and continue with very smart ideas is because I just keep getting told to do it. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a mama from Honduras writing to me to say, thank you. I watch how you work with your limb difference. And I know my little girl's going to be okay. And that just keeps me going. And I know I'm doing the right thing. I, the other thing that I think is really important to note before I forget to say it <laughs> is that these ideas that come to me, some of them come to me just because they're experiential, but many of them come to me not for any reason other than I promise and I know and I feel that the universe is saying, try this. Yeah. And I try it and guess what? It works. Yes. And, it's, and, and the biggest word I have to use today is faith. Thank you. Yes. Faith. Every time I doubt myself, I have to stop myself. And, and I have one word. I don't know if you have one word, Denise. My one word is grit. 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 <laughs> grit. Yes. I can do this. I can do this. And every time I doubt myself, I, well, not every time, because I still go down that rabbit hole, right? You always will. I have to stop myself, yeah. stop myself and say, I, I got this. I know I'm in the right direction. Yes, definitely. So, oh my gosh, there was a couple of things there. So I want to address all of them with you and kind of take our listeners and our audience um, a little deeper. So, and I've always felt this way. I think I've always been kind of this um, woo-woo person or curious and on a journey of growth all of my life. And I, like you, have had ideas that just suddenly dropped in. It's not that I, you know, knew what that idea was. It just dropped in. Dropped and in. Uh, yeah, it just kind of came into me. And sometimes I would act on it. And a lot of times I wouldn't. And then it would go on. It would just move on. And here's the way I viewed that. It was like, as I got older and I began to pay more attention to really the presence of what I was and who I am and what was going on in my life, I thought about it this way. It was like, okay, so a vibrational match, everything is energy. I don't know where these ideas come from, except the universe with capital U. And I look at it this way, I go, so there's universal thought that is always surrounding and it's out there for everybody. And occasionally one of those ideas will drop down into you and you'll go, wow, that's really interesting. I think I'll do that. 
But then life comes, life goes, you get the egoic voice going on in your head. It says, ah, nah, doesn't feel right now. I don't think I'll do it. I'll put it on the back burner and I'll do it later. And the next thing you know, you're listening to a TV program, you're seeing a commercial, or you're reading the news, or you're talking to someone else. And that idea that had dropped into you had been created by someone else. And you're like, oh my gosh. And what happened was it dropped into you, but you did nothing with it. And the or universe, I wasn't ready. Yes, yes. I love that. Or you weren't ready. Right. And even if you weren't ready, if it was still yours, it would drop in later. Yeah. When Agreed. you Agreed. didn't decide for it and claim it, the universe said, okay, here it is. Let's get somebody else who is ready for it right now. And that's what happens. And so having these thoughts drop in what I wanted to say was it's about paying attention in the moment and right. I love how you put it of how you said you've got grit and you make it happen I literally and I guess it's because I did it most of my life and I give it to my clients is I have them picture a big red button inside their head kind of like that red staples button that had mm -hmm. easy on it for me it's got pause or stop and when my, I get spinning, 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 you know, with that critical voice again, I picture that big red button and me hitting it as hard as I can and stopping and pausing and taking very deep breaths because I've kind of gone into anxiety mode and fear is always going to be with us, you know, and then I, I get curious again. And I'll start having the conversations with my egoic brain in my heart. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, when you do that, your heart wins out every time. Every time. Yeah. Every time. I do it a little bit differently. I stand up and I say, nope. I talk to myself. <laughs> At least I don't answer myself. But I talk to myself and I'm like, nope. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. I'm working too hard. There's a reason I'm doing this. And I just kind of walk around, mm -hmm. <clears throat> regroup, and then I sit back down. Yeah. But that's the hardest part because I, like you, have to remind myself that, you know, where did this idea come from? I did not manufacture this idea. This idea was dropped in. This idea was given to me because I asked for help. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the minute I started believing that is when I just started to believe and I started to become calmer yeah. and those people who know me uh, I'm not so calm <laughs> I'm I like to have fun I'm a little bit kooky I've got a lot of ADHD going um but I do get calm I'm like, yeah. okay there's a so, reason yeah what was that moment I mean did something happen where you finally found that peace within you and knowing your grit and can do it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So I um, I read a book and talk about woo-woo. The book is called The Seat of the Soul. Yes. And um, it, it was an amazing book. It still is. It's one of those books, though, that you have to read three or four times, at least I do, in order to really think about it. And it really takes quantum physics and the soul and the personality and dissects it and teaches us about it. And it's just fascinating. Yeah. Um, and so after I read that or and then listened to it again, I thought to myself, this feels accurate for me. And there's still times though, Denise, where I have fear and doubt, you know, it's part of being a human being. Exactly. Like, what am I doing? doing? What, uh, you know, I, I should be taking all this extra energy and putting it towards my day job. And mm -hmm. I do put a lot of energy to my, into my day job, but this is just continues to compel me. Conti I know there's a reason and it's that faith. And um, I, I just, I'm very aware of my surroundings now where I necessarily wasn't before it was just, I was in pain. I was in pain because I knew I should be doing something. I knew I needed to be using my creativity and it caused angst and pain and anxiety. And when I started working towards very smart ideas, 
again, all coming from the universe. Yeah. <laughs> I realized that it my anxiety started to dissipate. And I think it's because I'm doing what I'm, I'm moving forward towards what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. And it feels really good. Yeah. So I'm glad that you brought that up because, and I think Seed of the Soul is by Gary Zukoff, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. I think that Thank is, you. Yes. Um, and love that book, but I'm glad that you brought that up because there's a lot of people out there that have that dream desire within them and they keep pushing it down because of the fear, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. of their uh, lack of feeling like, well, who am I to be able to do this? That whole worth mechanism. And we could have a whole conversation about that, yeah. you know? because <laughs> we could have several conversations on that and at the same time what you said is you you identified it as feeling physical pain almost it was like a physical pain and guys yeah. this is what I want to yeah this is what I want to tell you is that when we when we have that within us that dream that desire that keeps bubbling up if we allow ourselves to ignore it it will create diseases in your life. A physical pain could just be mm -hmm. your foot hurts. It could be your back hurts. It could be you have a headache. It could be any of those things. And if you continue to ignore it, and if it's yours, I mean, honestly, Gigi, what you're doing now is your purpose. And one of the main reasons why you're here in this moment, in this life, ready for this, because you're helping so many people with it, you know? And guys, if you feel like that's exactly what's going on with you, where you keep getting that feeling and the need and the, the passion, the drive to go for it, when you continue to ignore it, mm -hmm. the universe has this way of saying, okay, you need a wake up call. And it can manifest in many different ways. For me, I got let go from corporate. And I mean, when you lose a six-figure job and your purpose of getting up every day, even though you were extremely unhappy, you know, <laughs> <laughs> didn't matter, uh, you still had that reason to get up. You have a choice in that moment, you know? I, I think something really important to say to the audience also is you wouldn't have these feelings, you wouldn't have this desire to do what you're doing if you didn't have the goods, if you didn't have the tools to do it. There's no way that you could come up with this idea of opening a bike shop or starting um, a lifestyle brand or fill in the blank if the universe didn't know you could do it and that you had the goods. Now yeah. it's been quoted many different ways. You know, I like to expand on things, but the truth is if you're having the thought, it's because you can do it. Yes. It's because you've been put on this earth. Mm -hmm. So do it. <laughs> it definitely is. And I absolutely love that. And to take it even further, it's like, again, like Gigi said, like you said, Gigi, it's kind of like, if you have that idea and it keeps coming back to you, you know this is for you to do. And guess what, guys? It's a journey and um, you're going to step into it with some trepidation, with some fear, and you're going to go, oh my gosh, this feels really hard. And you can make it easy just by who you are and choosing it. And at the same time, you get to grow, you get to learn. Because that's what yeah. this life is all about is the continuous growth. You know, I heard you, Gigi, talking about how technology just wasn't your friend. No. But you're learning it. Oh, big oh. time. Yeah, big yeah. time. Yeah, definitely. I, I, the one other thing I'd have to say that really helps me still every single day mm -hmm. is just to take a step forward every day. Even if I'm so frustrated with Facebook meta, sorry, <laughs> I don't mean to say it's so hard to work with, but um, I still though, I'm like, ooh, I check, I did that. You know, if I can do one new thing a day or even propel myself to learn something new every day, I believe that momentum, that positive vibration is also picked up 
by the universe. I really believe that anytime you make a small movement, it helps you in big ways. Yes. Thank you. I thank you. And guys, I always say it's the baby steps of life and baby steps will get you to the top of the mountain. So Gigi, thank you. This was excellent today. Thank you guys for coming in and listening and see, viewing again on what's next. It's about embracing that growth and the messages that come from the universe for you uh, and taking those baby steps toward your dream. So until next time, guys, determine what your next step is.